always wanted to be close to the cattle industry. And so my especially with Purina was the cattle business. I was in the marketing and sales business for years. I came to Florida and I'd studied Florida pretty well and I understood that uh, they were totally different than the economy I'd been raised in. So first thing I need to do is understand why and how people operate their land. So I got involved with the University of Florida and of course Ona. So I've been associated with them ever since. And I think that anybody in the food industry ought to be real supporters of IFAS. And I think the ranchers need to support it financially on modern ways of doing things and experimental ways of doing things for their benefit. But they've made a lot of progress in how to get the most out of the land through cattle. And I think they've done a great job in, in uh, getting different varieties of grasses and experimenting with that. I'm very concerned about keeping a real aggressive IFAS operation, not just for cattle, but for all agriculture, all food production. I think anything we can do to make sure that IFAS is doing what we need done, rather than be limited by the dollars that the government puts behind it. John Plagg was very, very close to the, the center director the late uh, Dr. Finley Pate. And uh, in memory of Dr. Pate, Don Plagg made a personal commitment and established a endowment stipulating that it be utilized here at the Range Cattle Experiment Station uh, for animal research um, in the area of nutrition. That has rocked along for four or five years. And here just this year, D Don Plagg came to the Cattlemen's Foundation and said, you know, I want to add some dollars to that foundation. I want to change the name of the uh, endowment and, and, and pull Dr. Pate and Don Plagg's name off of it, and let's call it the Florida Cattlemen's Endowment. He felt like that a, a broader group of potential contributors uh, might find it appealing that it, that it uh, had a new name and uh, a lot more potential donors and work could be done to uh, really enhance uh, the work being done by our scientists. People at IFAS can't do it by themselves, and ranchers can't do it by themselves, and business can't do it by themselves. But if we're united on the basic ways of learning how to do things better, then we'll get someplace. I think the big thing we have to do is listen to each other and learn from each other as a whole so that we're not in a bunch of controversy about our opinions, but we're talking about real facts that make people money. If they can't make money, they're going, going to sell the land to development, and there goes their food production.